What's cracking like in YouTube? This is your boy, Absolute Destruction, your friendly neighborhood one, of course. We're welcome to do the first ever episode of the Pokemon Y Wonderlock. If you don't know what a Wonderlock is, pretty much what it is, a way of playing the game. It's not like any heaven does lock, so you have standard not like rules. You have not you can only catch the Pokemon first uh, first Pokemon each route. Pokemon faints, goes in the box, get a nickname like Pokemon. Now, what's nice about a Wonder Lock is that due, due to the Wonder Trade function, whatever Pokemon you capture, you can Wonder Trade that out, and you have to use whatever Pokemon you get. And of course, Dupes, Log, uh, Dupes Claws, Shiny Claws, Species Claws, all that's still in effect, so don't have to worry about that. But, if you don't know who I am, if you're new to the channel, I'm Absolute Destruction, or Ty, uh, how other people know me as. Uh, I was mainly a Pokemon streamer. Uh, but I've been trying to get into YouTube more. I'll have my stream, uh, my Twitch link down below. Uh, I also want to thank Tito Station for this a beautiful, beautiful layout. He did an amazing job with it. Uh, so I'll have his Twitter uh, down below so you can contact him. He does great work uh, and has relatively good prices. So if you want to go get something from him, go right for it. Um, I apologize if the audio is not the greatest right now. Uh, I'm not on my actual desktop right now. I'm on my laptop. Uh... And probably about next week, we should, once I record this next few up. I'm going to record a few episodes today, um, do a little bulk recording. But um, next week, we will be doing uh, more episodes, record more episodes, and will be on the actual desktop. So the audio will probably sound a little bit better. Um, but yeah, uh, but yeah, not me, I'm a Pokemon streamer, uh, recent college graduate. Uh, I'm not afraid to speak my mind. Uh, I'm pretty much just a chill back dude. I just like to have fun and do all that type of fun jazz. Uh, so if you are interested in more Pokemon content, definitely hit that like button down below. If you're excited for this new Let's Play, hopefully it does better than our last one. Hopefully this one lasts longer than three episodes. That'd be fantastic. Definitely hit that like button now for us. Both blah blah blah. I, and also I can never speak. That's another thing about me. I always have trouble speaking sometimes. Um. But yeah, if you are excited for this LP, go ahead and hit that like button down below, and let's make sure it's chaotic for everyone. Alright, let's get right into this. Hmm. I am Augustine Sycamore, the Carlos region's very own Pokemon professor. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. These mysterious creatures can be found in every corner of the world. Some run across the plains, others fly across the skies, and although shown swim deep in the ocean, we live together with these Pokemon lending our strengths to one another to live and prosper. Let's start with some quick questions. Are you a boy or are you a girl? A oh, man. Uh, what do you look like? I look like I have blonde hair and blue eyes, so that's just how I roll. Oh, I see. What do you tell me your name? I will go out of on the YouTube channel, we go, go by the name of AD for Absolute Destruction. Um, of course, on Twitch, we know we'll probably go this tie, but on here, we call it AD. Look at that swag, fantastic looking dude. So, it's AD then. Did I get that right? AD, Chase BN, what a fantastic name. AD, your own adventure begins now. You are about to enter a world of... I can read all that. I need to... do it fastly! Stop it! Ah! And we're going in the book. I haven't really played through all of Pokemon Y or X in a long, long time. Uh, I'm playing so much of Auras. I haven't really done much of this, so I'm very excited to do this Wonderlock. Um, I've been wanting to do a Wonderlock on the channel uh, ever since I started doing stuff for a very, very long time. And I didn't want to do it with Auras because everyone does Auras right now. So I want to go back... Go back a little bit. Let's 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 move it back a little bit and enjoy Kalos for what we have a little bit of it. Freaking fleshling waking me up. Looking at that uh, Wii U, same color as my Wii U. Yeah. Wee. I I just love like this game really revolutionized Pokemon. It really did. I am loving it. I am loving. I am loving it. We need a haircut, boy. We got too much hair. I'm, I apologize if my voices aren't the greatest. Bear with me. Morning, AD. You surely slept well. I rested up for the move. It's about time you get going. We 
Why don't you step out and say hello to the neighbors? Yeah, that just, that just hurts. That hurts my mouth doing that. Blech. That's just creepy that they're hanging outside the door already. Ah, shit, it's creepy. Welcome to Veneville Town. My name is Serena. I'm your neighbor. I'm Shanna. Nice to meet you. Guess what? We come to get you. Esteemed po Professor Sycamore lives here in College Region. Our sorority has requests for five kids to introduce us. I'm a little surprised she knows who you are. You did just move to Vanneville after all. Well, wait for you. Well, wait for you next town over. And you know what? We're going to get a Pokemon. Come on, let's hurry. Let's go. I can't do a high pitched girl voice that Shauna really needs. Hey, buddy, Rhino. How's it going? How's it going? All right. I'm not gonna busy talking to everyone. I, it, plenty of people have done that on, on their LPs. We don't need that here. We don't need that here. I, I don't know who actually said that. So, um, just come over here. We were just talking about you. Come on, have a seat. This is the meeting place, Ad. Here, let me introduce you. Everyone, this is Ad. Well, Shauna's description's spot on. So, Ad, this is so Ad. This is Tiano. He's got some serious dance moves, and this is Trevor. He never misses a single question on his tests, but he's a little shy. All right, nice to meet you. You know, it feels nice we were close to crew if we call each other by nicknames. Can I call you Meister? What? No way. It's a little A for sure. What do you think, Trevor? <laughs> what? You want me to nickname someone I just met? Shana, you shouldn't put people on the spot like this. Well, that was something low-key. Maybe something like Big A? Why don't you decide what we should call you? Uh, pick my own. Just call me AD. It's perfectly fine with that. Call me AD. Nice and simple. You want us to call you AD? Okay. AD fits you perfectly. Oh no shit, it's my name. I'm sure we're gonna be great friends, so I'll call you that too. Hey, can we see your Pokemon now? I want to meet my new Pokemon partner. I don't know, wait, it was much cool feeling when Trez and I met our Pokemon. Hope you feel the same way we did. Now, it doesn't really matter what we really choose here, just because no matter what, we're gonna be one trading it out. So I'm gonna go with my buddy Jaspin. Oh, excuse me. My bud Chespin. My bud Chespin. We are doing a Pokemon X, uh, Shiny Badge quest over on the Twitch channel. Uh, like I said, I'll have that uh, link down below. So definitely check that out if you want to see that. We have a Shiny Chespin on there that we got on six egg encounters off stream when I was trying just to hatch eggs for one trade. So it's pretty damn lucky. <laughs> Would you like to give your Pokemon nickname? Sure. So people know that we're doing one trades. Let's just crawl this A D one er, A D wonder. Let's do A D wonder. Was what we'll call it. A D wonder. Mm -hmm. So you decided to name nickname A D wonder. Okay, my partner is Froki. Wow, we go great together. The two of us just way too cute. Nice to meet you, Finnegan. I'm Serena. Because of you, I can be a real Pokemon trainer. Thank you. Uh, pardon me, but I have something for you for the professor as well. I have something that will help you understand Pokemon on a much deeper level. And we got ourselves a Pokedex. We got ourselves a Pokedex. Um, yes, so you see, the Pokedex I just gave you is a high-tech device that automatically records the Pokemon you encounter. The, re the reason you get one is because the Pokemon wants to... Also wants us to get on journey with our Pokemon and complete the decks. To put it another way, it is a important mission for the professor, I'm sure of it. I can't read. Oh, lighten up, Trev. You're way too serious sometimes. Um, AD, please take this from me, too. It's a letter from the professor. He said to give it to your mom. Alright, we're done with our errands for the professor. I guess Trev's now we're gonna look for Pokemon. Let's go, Trev's. It's Gallows, kids are chosen to carry a Pokedex and go on an adventure. You need to get that letter to your mom before you go. Hey, I want no shit. Alright, let's get going. 
I'm so excited to play this. I don't know how many episodes I'm going to record today, but I cannot wait. Hey, wait! We're gonna, you're going to be my first opponent in my Pokemon Battle debut. Okay, Little Forky, let's our first battle. Let's win this in style. Shut the hell up. I don't like her. I never liked her when I first started playing the game. She was really annoying. I like Serena more just because she was actually like a skilled trainer. Sean is just annoying. Froggy. Froggy, Froggy. I would lie if we got Shiny right there. I'm like, hey, Shiny. No, we can't do any wonder trading until. Oh, that was a crit. Damn, 80 Froakie. I mean, 80 Wonder. Justin. Damn, boy. Go easy on the poor little fella. Hey, I wasn't watching my cute little Froakie yet. Not too bad. It's not 500. I feel like 500 is like 5 bucks. Like, it's. Like, I really just what, what it feels like. Yeah, let me fix up your Pokemon. You don't need to- I'll, I'll use one move! I feel like, like, 500s, because they're, like, 5 bucks in the Pokemon, like, in, like, our, our like, our world is, like, 5 bucks. So they just give out money like crazy. Like, 500s seems like, why would you just want to give someone 500 bucks? I think it's more like, it's more like $5. So, what did your, you and neighbor kid end up doing? Wait, one second, AD. Is that a Pokeball you have there? You get your very own Pokemon? Lucky you. How about that? You're Pokemon Trainer 2 now. Congratulations. Huh? A letter from me? It says from somebody named Sycamore. What could it be? A love letter? Wow, what a lovely handwriting. Hmm. What do you have here? A request? Oh, I see. AD, apparently I'm packing all kinds of exciting things are happening. Okay, let's get you and Chessman ready for your journey. Her voice will never stay the same, but I mean, this is the last time we really see her, so... Here you are, D. I've had to change of clothes. My, what an unexpected turn of events. It's like all of a sudden a burst of speed from a race in a Rhyhorn, race during a Rhyhorn race. You made friends, you met your Pokemon, and now you get to lop around Kalos. Oh, don't forget this. Town map. Don't really need it, though. I know everything about this region. You know how to use a town map, right? Yes. That's my boy. Set the town map for your bag whenever you want to use it. I don't know if Professor Sycamore wants you to see on my... See... Wants you to see on your trip. Take on a journey with Pokemon is a really wonderful experience. Bada, 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 bada. Oh, dear God. Oh, that was an earthquake. Haha, <sighs> <sighs> what a card. I guess Reinhardt just wanted to give you a big send off for your journey. Well, it's known you since you were born, after all. Good luck, AD. Go for broke, and don't worry. You'll have a Pokemon by your side, so you'll be fine. That Rhyhorn's older than I am. That's ridiculous. That's an old ass Rhyhorn. Uh, how long do Pokemon really live for? Like that that's a question I've always wondered of how long Pokemon after you live for because like you see Pokemon that are I feel like they live for a long time. Sometimes like, oh this Pokemon belonged to my mom or this Pokemon belonged to my dad or my grandparents or whatever, and it's still like taking the battling and all this stuff, and I was like, holy crap, how old is that damn Pokemon? It's crazy. Like this Pokemon raised up when, uh, with yeah, such and such or whatever. It's, it's weird. Well, we didn't get Pokeballs yet, so this, of course, this better. Uh, this is not better for this Pidgey doesn't count. But the Wonder Luck does not start until we actually start Wonder Trading. So even when the po we get Pokeballs, if Chessman goes down for some odd reason, we don't have to worry about it. Until we actually Wonder Trade out. Then, come on how to catch Pokemon with me. Serena's mom and dad are amazing trainers. That's why she knows so much about catching Pokemon and battling. Well, mom and dad may be good, but it has nothing to do with me. Okay, now watch carefully, you two. But yeah, so, we, until we do actual wonder trading, we don't have to worry about Pokemon fainting or anything like that. Because it's a wonder lock. While well, the wonder lock fail before we actually, like, there's any Pokemon. Uh, before we actually do any wonder trading. That would be stupid. Like, she already caught a fleshling. That was quick. She got a fleshling quickly. <laughs> so, 
I would love to get a Bunnel Bay over one trade. That'd be awesome. And I love how t uh, Tito Station put a shiny Absol in the uh, logo. It freaking fits perfectly. It's lovely. I love it. I love it. I love it. Shana, what do you think of your Froakie inside of right now? Here, I'll share some Pokemons with the two of you. I, d I didn't read what Shana said. My bad. Pokeballs! Do you think I can catch Pokemon with them too? Sure, you can catch the Pokemon around here just by throwing a ball near them. Okay, if I find a cute Pokemon, I'll throw lots of balls at it, and then we'll become friends. When you catch a wild Pokemon, it makes your Pokemon stronger, too. Good luck. Yeah, that was a new thing that they added in 6th gen, was that, like, Pokemon, if you catch a Pokemon, then it actually, uh, gives you experience for it, which is weird. And we get a little scatterbug, a little scatterbug, a little scatterbug. Now, one thing about the Monologues, if a Pokemon is too high level, so let's say it's, like, level 50, I can re-trade that out, or I can keep it, depending on the situation. So, like, if I'm at, like, third badge, and I have, like, I get, a, like, level 50 Pokemon, I think I might keep that and try to use it later. But right now, if I get a level 50 Pokemon, it's not going to listen to me, so it's no real point. I believe this rod is instant catch, so I'm just going to throw a ball at it. I think this rod is instant catch. <sighs> All right. Ah, cool. Cool, 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 cool. The powder that covers his body regulates his temperature so it can live in any region or climate. Go for you, Shadowbug. Ah, uh, yeah. So let's do AD Wonder. It's female, too. AD Wonder. So let me go ahead and sign on. You know, signing online is sort of important to do one trading. Sort of important. I'm actually going to change my profile as well to say wonder trading. Let's see. Uh, profile. Watch you, Wonderlock. Just so people know I'm saying YouTube. Alright. Let's go ahead and do some Wonder Trades. So we can get at least, before we get to the first gym, we can get pop up to five Pokemon in Wonder Trade. But I think I'm going to do four, go to the gym, and then we'll get to the one up to the right of the next town. Bum, 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 bum. That's adamant. Oh my god, that's an adamant. I didn't even look at it. It's adamant. That's so... Oh my god, this person's getting a wonderful, wonderful chessman. Give me something good, something really good. Please. Like something from Auslov or something. That'd be awesome. Auslov always... Uh, the Auslov streamers always send out something good. Searching for partner. Searching for partner. Searching for partner. There we go. We got Vivian from Berlin, Germany. Says shinies, please. Uh, I don't got shiny for you, but I got an adamant AD Wonder Chessman. Bum, 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 bum. Come on, something good, please. Okay, Lily Pop's not bad. I, I, I won't mind a Lily Pop. That's uh, unique. You don't really see Lily Pops on here very much. That's pretty cool. Lily Pop. All right, cool. Get a powerful Statlin. Get a powerful Statlin. Alright.
I just want to see how, what level, I'm guessing it's like the rat one. No, it's level one, it's comic. Oh, that's bad. It's level one, too. So hopefully we get something that's a little higher than level one, just so we can try to level these guys up. If not, I'm going to have to go buy some potions and really, really hope that I find some like level twos and level threes to battle over here. Ah, scatterbug. So if we get a lily pup again, we can want to trade that back out because it would be Duke Claws. From Jordan from Northern Island, United Kingdom says, Shiny Snappy, please. Uh, well, here's Scatterbug. And we get a Wumple. And freaking Tastic. I mean, what you gotta do with it, I guess. Do what you gotta do. I mean, hey, we can get a beautiful eye. I, I mean, you don't really see beautiful eyes with Deathstalk, which is really on uh, Let's Play, just because they're sort of crap. But, I mean, hey, early on, you go with what you gotta do, right? I don't know who the hell's sending me O powers, but okay. Alright, so hold on. Let's check these guys out. We have level 2 and a level 1. I just want to check these two guys. You're calm nature. What are you? You are naive nature. So increased speed, lower special defense. Shield dust. I don't remember how Wumpel evolves. Is it like during day or night or something like that? I don't remember. Like, I don't remember, like, how you get Silk in your Cascoon. Alright, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy some potions. And my goal is I want to get both these guys level 5. Before I go on and face that trainer that's up there. Before we go into Tantaloon Forest. Because if I can get them level 5, we'll be good to go. And I can handle uh, the trainer just fine. Because yeah, I know he has a Zigzagoon. Um... So let's go ahead and do a little bit of grinding here. Whee! All about say, can we find something? Oh, we should be able to handle cattle if you just find a little pup. And stab tackle? I mean, let's go. Level 3, though. Uh, how's that tackle going to do? That is about 4 points of damage. How much is the tackle going to do? A little bit less. Okay. I'm about to say, if he wants to string shot me a bunch of times, he's already faster than me because he's two levels higher. So if he wants to string shot me, that's perfectly fine. Okay. Alright, he's. I was a crit too. He's faster than me, but I'm still going to heal. Well, I have to heal because I cannot risk the lip up going down. I don't want to lose a Pokemon in the very first route. That was sick. Okay, cool. So I could have risked going for a tackle there, but I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I didn't, because now, even if he crits me, I will love it, no matter what. Because it's only 4 points of damage, a crit would have been 8 points. Level 2! Alright. I think I want to make this uh, episodes about hour long each. Uh, I know a lot of people do it for 30 minutes, but I, w I want to do it for an hour because it makes it a little bit more enjoyable when I do it for an hour. Alright, tackle. Want to growl me. Fantastic. Alright, little pup, I need you to crit again, dude. I know your attack is lower due to being a calm nature. What is Stalin's special attack anyway? It's probably sh crap, isn't it? Pokedex, Pokedex on phone, Pokedex on phone. If I get my phone out, eh. Stoutland, your special attack is 45. Yeah, it's crap. But you I mean your special defense is 90, so, I mean, making you a little bit bulkier on the special side is not a bad thing, I guess. It sucks it's lowering the attack.
I'm just curious. I'm faster than it, which is weird. Flushling. I just need that one crit, and I'll break through all these uh, growls. Alright, so that did about four points of damage. I don't want to risk a crit, so I'm going to heal real quick. So the crit will definitely knock out the pups. I do not want to risk a crit. But I feel like if I do hour-long episodes, I ha now give me less episodes I have to record, and I can do more stuff for you all in one episode. I feel like just 30 minutes just feels so short. It goes by so quickly. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that does nothing. Stop growling me, you're already lowering my attack as much as it is. I right, spin. Yes. There you go, little pup. There you go, bud. Alright. And no level up there. Okay, I'm gonna run back and heal. Who the hell is sending me hatching powers? I just saw this game. People were already sending me hatching powers. Like, what the hell? So, as you see, the question of the day today is for the very first episode: is what's your favorite Pokemon and why? My favorite Pokemon is Diggers B, uh, just because I can relate to it very much. It just I don't know, I just feel like it's my, like my spirit animal type deal. I just love Diggersby so much. For the longest time, Absol was my favorite, um, until 6th gen. Ever since I saw Absol in 3rd gen, I just loved Absol. Absol was amazing. Um, but, but Absol still up there. I still love Absol, and that's why he's the logo of the channel. Absol is amazing. But Diggersby is my favorite, though. Why are all these people trying to growl me? Okay, this is a level 4. I'm going to run away. Can you get away? God damn it. I want to get away. I want to get away. I, wanna go. I don't want to bet, bet, yeah, face below four just because I'm worried of it being too powerful for me. So I'm just going to run away. Try again. I need like level twos and threes. Or like if you want to give me a scatter bug or something. It's probably no. I don't be scary. Level three. Uh, I'm going to leer it. He leers me. He leers me. Leer for leer. Alright, I'm gonna tackle it, just see how much it does. Okay. Two leers, that's a little bad. How much is this tackle gonna do? I should be able to tackle him. Oh, the crit. Uh, I'm gonna risk it. Here's agility. Whoo! That's fine. You can make yourself faster. This tackle should take you out. Yeah! Goodbye, right, Bunnelby. I love you, bud. I do not know the level up moveset of Lillipop. I feel like it's not the greatest in the world. He was a level 16. Uh, he has Vital Spirit, so I think that turns into Intimidate, I think. Um, when Lillipop 5, Bite at 8... Alright, I think before I face the gym, I want to get everyone to at least around 15, um, just so uh, I can guarantee I can handle uh, the gym just fine. Attack me. How much is attack going to do? That's uh, 6 points of damage. Don't crit. Oh, okay, cool. Alright, that did about one third. So I'll heal up. He grabbed me. Okay. So it's about. Bash it down to plus uh, I mean, regular. Don't worry about that. Grab me again. Ah, oh, goddammit. it. 
still did a decent amount, even though with two growls lowered. When well, I was one growl lowered, pretty much. Now it's two because I had one lowered defense. So for him. Oh, that did five points of damage. Yeah, a little pop. Taking down the Zig Zagoons. Level four. Alright. I don't want to use all my potions, I sort of want to save them for battle. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? Know what I mean? Alright. What I'm going to do now is Blizzard Pup's already at level 4. I'm going to switch train uh, with Wurmple. Trying to get Wurmple some levels. And then I'll also give a chance to Wurmple get some levels and then try to get Blizzard Pup to level 5. So, if, if we face like a level one, uh, 2 Pokemon, then I might try to save him with Wurmple, but if not, oh, no, I probably won't be able to save him with Wurmple with this one. Yeah, definitely level 4, no. Nope, 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 switching out. Because, uh, one level is a little five, so. It's four points of damage. I want to see, how much does my tackle do? Now, oh, speed of pitchy, too. That's a little bit more than his tackle does. Well, that's good to know. If I wasn't a calm nature, I think I would have a little bit more luck with this thing. Oh, uh, it was a speed high. Oh, that was, that was a crit. Ha, ah, that was close. I'm not risking the speed tie there. I am not risking the speed tie. That'd be really bad to risk the speed tie. Knowing my luck, I would not get the speed tie, and Little Pop would go down, and that would suck. I was about to sneeze there for a second. I got a little up to level 5, so that was easy to get there. Marble's level 3. Alright, I'll use my last potion, and I'll go buy more potions if I need to. So I have money for it. If I had orange berries, that would have been a lot better, but... Alright, now just, and once I get to level, uh, level 5 Rumple, then I'll be happy. No matter what the level of the pup is... I'll be happy. I mean, even if it... Let me see. Because uh, what's great about this app that I have, you uh, you can actually see with, like, na uh, not good natures how much it would do. I mean, how much, uh, like, hindering nature and stuff like that. So, at level 50, uh, the attack, I mean, it's still pretty good. Um... I mean, if it was ma without EVs, it's like a 23 point difference in attack. So it's not too bad. It's almost to a KO. Alright, as long as it doesn't crit me, I'm good. I need to go back and heal, though. Oh, low f they did 4 points damage. So, even if he outsped me here, he probably wouldn't be able to take me out. And we'll be good to go. What's nice is because these are traded Pokemon, they gain a lot of experience a lot quicker. That's what I So one more level for Wurmple, and then we'll go ahead and move on to San Luis City and catch another Pokemon and do another one trade. Yeah. And there'll be plenty of trainers in there for us to battle trying to raise up for that Pokemon if it's not already at a decent level. Because as long as it's not above 20, we can still use it. Um, it was like, if it's in the teens, then I probably won't use it much as Sandlin Forest. I'll just save it for the gym. But, yeah. Press the counter. Pidgey. 
So it's always a Pidgey in this one. Oh no, it's one of you this time. Okay. Normally that's like that. The patch of grass is always Pidgeys. Like always. Alright, I just want to see how much attack will do. He can agility all he wants. I just want to see how much tackle does from a Wurmple. That's an okay amount. I think that's like, what? A 5 hit KO? As long as he keeps on agility, we're good. I mean, tackle for him would be stab. So I don't know how well Wurmple can take it. But if we can take out this Bunnel Bee with just Wurmple, then that'd be great. Because then it'll get all the experience, it'll evolve, and then we'll be good to go. Yeah, so he, I don't think, unless he gets a massive, like, amazing crit. Yeah, no, okay, we're good. We good, we good, we good. Alright, so now once this thing levels up, we'll find that, oh, I didn't level up, damn it. Damn it, damn. It was just, oof. it's probably like one or two experience shorts. Because I just want to know, I don't remember how, I'm going to look this up real quick. How do you decide what, uh... Hmm, that's down. Okay, um... How does Rumple evolve? Rumple evolve is essentially random from the so Cocoon. Oh, so it's personality values. Oh... Can I see what my personality is with this Wurmple? No, I can't. I mean, we're two levels higher, so we should be fine with this Fletchling. Yeah, we should be fine. That's only doing three points of damage, so we good. Alright, after we beat this thing, I'm gonna go back, grab potions. And we'll be good to go. Good to go. I know this first episode is not the most exciting. I mean, we got our first Pokemon. Honestly, I would prefer a Silcoon over a Cascoon, but I feel like, knowing my luck, I'll get a Cascoon. I prefer a Silcoon just because I prefer Beautifly over uh, Deathstalk any day of the week. That's just me, though. If I learn Poison Sting, I feel like it's going to be a Cascoon. What? It was level 7. I'm stupid. It was level 7. Okay. I mean, that'll give me a chance to really- I can find out now what he evolves into. Personality traits. Likes to run. Okay. See if I can find it on here. Hmm. Maybe... Oh, so it won't- it can't tell you. Okay, so it's pretty much just random. Okay. It's pretty much just random. Characteristic doesn't matter. Okay. I think. I'll just check Cerebi real quick, just to make sure. But I'm pretty sure it's just, it's completely random. Personality value that's greater than or equal to 4. It turns into a Silcoon, but it's less than or equal to 5. Wait, what? That's weird. So yeah, so it's not something we can see, so it's pretty much just random. That's a little disappointing. I don't know why it's nighttime in the game, but I mean, it looks like nighttime. Just be a shadow. Uh, but we got both in level five, so we'll go ahead and go face that trainer with this ridiculous zigzagoon. I'm gonna go buy some potions just so we have some potions ready. Does the fact that it learned Poison Stink, like, matter? Does that mean it's gonna be a Dust Ox? No, it always learns Poison I mean, I can keep it to level 15, and wait till Bug Bite, but nah. Nah. 
I'm just buying seven potions. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Buy seven potions. All right. So we get there. The reason I want a uh, beautiful eyes is because then at least we can learn a flying type move with it. I think. Um, what levels is learn a flying type move? Beautiful eye. Learns gust at level ten when it evolves. So if we can get beautiful eye, then we'll have a gust for the first gym, which would be really nice to have. Um, and I can learn things like Morning Sun, Mega Drain, Giga Drain, Bug Buzz, Quiver Dance, stuff like that. So it's a really strong special attacker. Um, it's not that speedy, and giving a special defense, I guess, is a little bit nice. Compared to Dust Tox, though, Dust Tox has special, special defense. So, nature-wise, um, I think, I, I, I think we have one that boosts speed, lower special defense, I think it is. Doesn't really matter either way. I'm not a poison type, so I'm just gonna tackle. How much are you gonna do? That was about six points of damage, so I just have to watch out for it. Oh my god, that did some that was a crit. Okay, I was about to say that did so much rumble. Holy crap. Alright, now I'll probably do about eight to ten points of damage, so I just have to watch it. Another tackle should take it out. Nope. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, maybe this tackle will take it out, hopefully. Because that'll be a great experience for Rumple here. Yes. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, one more level for Rumple, and then it will evolve into Cascoon or Silcoon. One, two. I'm really hoping for Silcoon. <laughs> I've never actually used a beautiful air dust ox before, so yeah. What do you want? Yeah, heal my Pokemon. Heal me. Heal me. And we got another potion, so that's good. I forgot about this item over here earlier. Now we should have nine potions. That's pretty good. Alright, so this is our first encounter in Sandal and Forest. And it's a Pantsir. Does Pantsir have Ember at its level? If it does, then I'm switching out, so I don't have to worry about one for going down. I don't think it has a Fire-type move at level 4. No, it doesn't learn any Fire-type move until level 10, so I'm good. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Doesn't do much. Play nice. Fantastic. Laura, I attack one stage, why don't you? I just want to get into yellow, then I'll throw a Pokeball at it. So if you get into yellow, I mean, Pantsir shouldn't have that high of a catch rate, so if I can just get into the yellow, then I'll throw Pokeballs at it and hopefully catch it. You know what, let's do one more tackle. As long as it's not a crit, we'll be fine. Yeah, okay. I like that better. That's crashed absolutely nothing, so we're good. We are good, and we can tr hopefully, if we catch this, we should be able to catch it. We should be good to go. Three. Yeah, we got ourselves a pants here to trade out. Now we have a normal type, and we have a bug, which will do the turn to bug poison and a bug flying. Um, I'm hoping for a fire type or a rock type, just to help us out with this gym. Yes, give it a nickname. Yeah, heal, heal my Wurmple real quick, because I did get scratched. Let's wander trade out. Wanna trade, wonder trade, wonder, wonder, wonder trade. Now, like I said, if this thing is over level 20, I'm going, I'm depending on what it is, I'll either keep it and just put it in the PC later or, when we get to the next town, or I will uh, go ahead and wonder trade it back out. Really just depends on what it is. But once I make a decision on the Pokemon, I cannot change that decision. 
If I decide to keep it, I cannot be decide later. Oh, I'm going to run the trade out. We found Dominique from North Rhine-Westphalia, Germany. Hi, we get. We're finding a lot of people from freaking Europe. And, like, really? <laughs> Where are the people from UK? I mean, from, from the United States. Alright, come on, give me something good here. That is dupes. We already have a one pulse. We can trade that back out. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. It's a Japanese Rumpel, too. It's a Japanese Rumpel, too. So we can easily just trade that right back out. Level 2 Timid Shield is. Oh, that would have been so much better. That would have been a much better one, but oh. Hi, little Wumble. Have fun with your Petra Berry. Come on, give me something good. Give me something good. Give me a shiny. An ass from Upper Austria. Austria. Hi, V gets. I think that's the first time I ever got someone from Austria. <laughs> hey, a whooper! I'm okay with that! Quagatire is amazing! Please don't be high level. That would be like level 30. That would suck. <laughs> be like a level 1 one that you bred or something. That would be great. Whoop yes, level one. I want to take this thing out. Has water gun, tail whip, and mud sport. Is a neutral nature. Is damp the normal ability or is that a hidden ability? I know. I'll check. Whooper. Damp is just other ability besides water absorbent. I don't know where. Man, I would love a water absorb one. Quagsire has damp. Now we'll have a damp one. That's sick. But hey, I mean, if I'm afraid of Pokemon uh, exploding on me, then that works. That's cool. We got a whooper. We got a water type. That's pretty chill. We got a water type and a ground type. So that's pretty good, actually. Whoopa, 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 whoopa. So how much is the water gun going to do this thing? It's a, it's a scatter bug. It can't do that much to me, right? 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 Right. Wow, that did nothing. That's pretty sad. Right, I think Wooper has might have better physical attack. Yes, I mean, Quagsire's physical attack is better. Yeah, Wooper's physical attack is 45, while special attack is 25, so that's understandable. How much you can do the circle with? That does about 4 points of damage. As long as you don't crit me, we're good. Ah, oh, they did 5, okay. Cool. I remember crits do double or 1.5, I cannot remember. But I'm going to heal the Wooper. I don't think a water gun will kill. And he's definitely faster. So, yeah. So I could have tried to go for another water gun, but I didn't want to risk it. And you evolve level 20, which is nice. See, I knew a water gun wouldn't kill. I knew a water gun wouldn't kill. A whooper with no hands. Oh, so close to level three. So close. And it's always good. And it's are always good. So whooper is on whooper is part ground. Okay, so that's pretty good. What is this level move set like? Mud sport at five, but it already has mud sports. Um, mud shot at nine. 
Mud Bomb at 19, and then he evolves and learns everything else. Okay, cool. Q, 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 Q. Is there an item over here? Oh. Don't know what the hell that noise was. Don't know what that ding was, but okay. No idea what that ding was. I think she grabs Paralyzed Heal or something like that. Yep, Paralyzed Heal. Awesome! I mean, it's gonna be nice when we have to do with Pikachus, but... You wanna try to beat me with a Scatterbug, Extra Joey? I was right, Extra Joey! Where's your Rattata at, buddy? Where's your Rattata at? This is a top prestige scatterbug here. Top prestige scatterbug. Stop. Top prestige scatterbug. That is about so four points of damage. That is absolutely nothing. I'm gonna switch out. I'm gonna go with my own Wurmple. Because this should give us enough experience with Wurmple to level up to evolve, hopefully. And maybe. I just wanna know if I'm getting a Silcoon or if I'm getting a Cascoon, so I know if I'm getting a Beautifly or Dust Ox. Because if I'm getting a dust tox, at least I know poison sting will be uh stab at least. That was a crit. I don't think that crit mattered. Nope, did not have enough. Okay, cool. Hmm. I'm just gonna get Wurmple to level up here. I'm gonna get Wurmple to level up, and I'll worry about leveling up uh, Wooper. I just wanna evolve this freaking Wurmple. Yes. Yes. Get out of here, Junkster Junk Joey. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Alright, cool. Evolution time. Let's find out. And you can't tell by the evolution screen. Like, you have to wait till it actually fully appears, I think. Because it's not like the old games were, like, certain designs for it. It's all the same freaking design now. Come on. Silcoon. 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 Crossing fingers. Silcoon. 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 Silcoon! Yes! That makes me happy. We get a freaking beautifly. Let's go. That makes me so, so happy. Oh my god. I can't believe I'm getting excited over getting a freaking beautifly. But that makes me happy. Now you come here, Shana. Heal me. Kill me. Ooh, so we can water gun this thing and be super effective at least. So this will give us decent experience, I think. Hey, Mr. Wi-Fi, upside down Wi-Fi. Ooh, his his front of his uh, body is upside down Wi-Fi. Look at it, it's upside down Wi-Fi. So the scratch did a little bit less than my water gun did. Now he's leering me. Erg. Erg, erg, erg. I can't believe we're using a Whooper too. Like, this is such a unique team. We're using a Stoutland, a Quagsire, a Beautifly. This is a very, very unique team. Oh. Might need to heal. Nope, never mind. <laughs> Although I'm not sure if that water gun's going to kill or not, but I might need to heal. I 
So I always thought uh, Wooper was just pure water and then Quagsire was part ground, but apparently I was wrong. I wonder if we'll be using a Mega Pokemon in this game or not. Whether if we get actually get a Mega Pokemon or not. Don't poison me, thank you. Water gun, you're two, you're two levels higher. Do more damage than that. That's probably like a 4 KO, but it sucks. Message go through. Sorry, I someone tried to send me a message, and I'm not sure if it went through or not. Uh, I did. Okay, cool. Oh, he poisoned me. Fan freaking fantastic. I just realized that. I just realized that he poisoned me. That was shit experience, but we got to level 5 though. That's a positive thing, we got to level 5. Sure, I'll take a Pokeball. Make it for the Pokeball I used to catch the uh, pants here. Five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. You're in for a shock, and your puns aren't funny. Your puns are not funny. You need to be punished for your puns. Ha, 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 ha. I'm not funny either. I'm not funny either. People keep on asking me, like, when are you streaming? When are you going live? And I was like, I'm recording. Let me out. He literally can't touch me. Because he has quick attack or something, he can't touch me. Thank you for being part ground. Now, all I can do is hit with me. Ha! Ha! Screw you, Pikachu. Screw you, Pikachu. Wow, really? really? Yeah, I love that. Pika, Pika. 180, holy crap, is a lot of experience. Alright. Alright. Uh oh, Passage, gotta get out. I don't have a grass type, but I need to get the hell a grass type move. I just need to get the hell out. Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. Thank you. Well, I think I'm gonna pause it right here. Save the game. I'll thank you all for coming out to this episode. I truly do appreciate that. If you all could, if you really enjoyed the episode, go ahead and hit that like button down below and answer the question of the day. I'll be truly, truly appreciative. Um like I said I will have the link to my Twitter my Twitch channel, and to Tito Stations, the guy who created the layout, his uh, channels, and uh, all his stuff as well. So definitely thank you all for coming out to this uh, video, and with that, 
I'll see you in the next one. Deuces.